Welcome back to Another Guy Bicycles, hanging out with the guy. Hey, I'm Justin the Guy. We are doing today's 10 minute tech tip on how to take the rear derailleur off, clean it, and reinstall it. Welcome to Anoa Guy Bicycles. Welcome to Anoa Guy Bicycles. Hanging out with the guy. Hi, I'm Justin the Guy. Obviously, I have a garage shop. Taking scary out of used bikes one bike at a time. If you like these videos, please like and subscribe. First, what we'll need to do is take the chain and put it in the smallest cog by releasing it down to its relaxed position. Then we'll need to find the power link or quick link in the chain if it has one to remove the chain so the derailleur can come off. By doing so, you use a pair of chain pliers or a chain tool to release the quick link, pull the chain through the jockey pulleys. Once that is done, then we're going to need to either cut or pinch this cap, which I'm going to try to save the end by just lightly pressing down on the opposite direction. Should be able to pull that off. If it's still cleaning intact, you can reuse this cable. Use number four Allen to release this one. It may be a number five, depending what derailleur you have. Then you need to pull the cable out, set that aside. Then number five, Allen. I typically like using the flathead Allens versus the ball point to make it a better contact and to release, like so. Depending on how extensive you want to clean this, you can use just a, a spray solvent to actually spray down the areas and release all that gunk and wipe it all off like so. Or you can use rubbing alcohol too to do the same thing to get all those nits and crannies. Or you can take it completely apart by using a, a number, by using a number three Allen flathead again to release the jockey pulleys. Keep in mind the jockey pulleys are directional as well as top and bottom. Once those are released, then you could go through and Clean the pulleys, and if these are compromised, this would be a great time to replace them. Clean inside the cage. Starting with the top, the upper jockey pulley, thread it through, use the number three, not all the way tight so it is flexible and you look for the direction on the rear lower jockey pulley for the direction on the rear jockey pulley line it up thread your bolt through use number three At this point, you put a drop of lube on the pivots and the spring and a little bit on the jockey pulleys for aid for smoothness. Also, I like to do the barrel adjuster and the cable tension, like so. Now it's ready to be installed. Part of the interruption, there is more. More you say? Push the more button. Push it.
Push it. I dare you to push it. Once you push that button, you get more details about the video you are watching in addition to all the tools that I use in the shop as well as suggestion for improving your ride. In addition to, to help me provide advocacy in the cycling community, also links to other social media accounts as well as my website to find the products that I actually sell and other insights in the industry. Other videos linked below, extend your cycling experience here on YouTube. And now back to your original programming. To install the rear derailleur, use the number five on this one. Pull this up where the B-spring adjustment screw is above this little lip here, where that's where it holds its position. Tighten that down all the way. So it fits this position. Now you reinstall the chain. Thread it from the back. Thread it from the back down through the derailleur, under and then over the cassette. And when that's in position, once in that position, you put the power link or the quick link back on. Like so. And you proceed to put the cable back through. That's where you wanna make sure it's clean so it doesn't fray at the end. Slide your housing in the housing guides. You lay your cable in the guide. You have it finger tight. Tighten your cable back down. And adjust the barrel adjuster. So it jumps from the small cog to the next one up and back down. So you have the spacing correct and this is a good time to adjust your limit screws top and bottom to make sure they prevent that derailleur from going too far either direction and the final touch is installing the cable in to keep it from fraying by just crimping it on place that's your 10 minute tech tip until next time from the garage have a great day Welcome back to Noah Guy Bicycles, hanging out with the guy. Hey, this is today's... Welcome back to Noah Guy Bicycles, hanging out with the guy. Hey, I'm Justin the, the guy. Yeah.